13, 14 years, um, and I've never seen anything like that. First on Fox 4, the state of Missouri has closed the doors at one KC Metro High School, citing significant safety concerns, and it's now forcing teachers at that school to consider resignation. Among one of the problems is people being in the building during school hours who aren't even supposed to be on the campus. Fox 4's Malik Jackson joins us live tonight. Malik, the state going as far as to say the school may be shut down. That's correct. The state giving Hogan Preparatory Academy actions that they must take, or as you mentioned, they could be closed. We spoke with the superintendent today who said if they cannot provide a safe and secure experience, then he agrees maybe the school should be shut down. But I have not ever seen actions where it is so unsafe that we had we have to cease the types of business as usual operations in a school like this before. Hogan Preparatory Academy in Kansas City, Missouri on the brink of a permanent closure after the Missouri Charter Public School Commission sent this letter of concern to the school on Friday, directing HPA not to allow students in grades 9 through 12 to attend school on campus before Monday, November 28th, 2022. It adds, unfortunately, these incidents are not a recent aberration. Instead, they are indicative of an environment that has resulted in high rates of student suspension and which has been consistently understaffed. I mean, in all Fox 4 spoke with the superintendent, Dr. Jason Strickland, who said safety is their top priority. Strickland said two issues are strangers being in the school during school hours and student fights. The state in its letter is also worried about the staff, saying many of them are considering resigning or not renewing employment contracts because of the concerns for their safety. It breaks my heart. I mean, it's heartbreaking. I was a classroom teacher. But the other part of me is angry, right? That um, schools and safety, I'm a parent of a high school student, right? I want to know that my kiddo is going to go to school and be able to access learning. The commission ended saying if these actions are not completed in a timely manner, the commission may take additional action up to and including closure of the school, giving staff until the 28th to come up with that new safety plan. In all frankness, Malik, I concur with it. If we cannot provide a, a safe, secure, and quality experience for young people, I'm in support. I don't think we should waste young people's time, tax dollars' time, taxpayers' money. I believe we have an obligation to do that. Now, Superintendent Strickland tells me that they have a meeting scheduled this week to talk with parents. He also says he's confident that they can rise to the occasion to get these problems fixed. Students will be in virtual learning for the remainder of this week. Russell.